Kung anak lang ako ni Pacquiao, siguro masaya na ako. I would just smile, but in deep inside, it's like empty. I was, I don't know if I want to say, pero sige, I'll say it na lang. I got like this rope thing. I almost tried hanging myself. You also have some experience back then with bullying. They would make fun of my face. People were just nice to me because they wanted to get something from me. So yun, good day sa inyo, netizens. Welcome to the first episode of our Net Talks. Nagbukas na tayo ng podcast para mabigyan ng avenue yung ating mga kasama sa social media and any other personalities. And we are privileged kasi yung first guest natin, I'm sure kilala nyo siya, ang ating guest. No other than Mr. Michael Pacquiao. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hello po. Hello po yeah. mga dyan. Thank you for having me. Yun, thank you din. Kasi kung hindi nyo na itatanong, meron din kaming ginawang podcast. At in-invite niya ako, pakicheck na lang din sa YouTube. Uh, sa YouTube, you can see it in my YouTube uh, channel, Mic Up. Just search Mic Up. Yun, makikita nyo agad. Matutuwa kayo kasi sobrang sarap ng usapan namin yun. Sobrang ganda. So ngayon, it's my turn. Ako naman yung magtatanong sa kanya ng mga sets of questions. Uh, Pinan natin, di ba? Ano lang, light conversation yeah. lang. Just enjoy, just enjoy. Natural lang, natural. Yeah. Okay, first is, I just want to share pala, no, before we start, that I'm really an avid fan of Sir Manny Pacquiao. And isa din siya sa mga pinapanood ko noon, mga times na may mga pinagdadaan tayo, may problema tayo. And nakakatuwa dahil sa panonood ko ng ganon nakita ko or na-discover ko si Michael I admire na isa siyang artist and very talented talaga no ano no kidding nagustuhan ko din yung mga music especially yung nag-blow up na rap song mo sobrang cool ang tanong who is Michael Pacquiao as an individual so me Michael Pacquiao well, for me ano lang ako like a simple na tao lang I'm pretty much just Like, ano lang, parang for me kasi, I do not know how to explain myself. Kasi, uh, I see myself like parang just an ordinary person that people can talk to and approach. Yeah. You know? <laughs> eh, totoo naman. Kasi, nung nakita ko siya dito, kasi iniisip ko, ano eh, pag sinabi kasi yung Pacquiao, kilala sa buong Pilipinas yan eh. ba diba? So, iniisip ko, parang sobrang naihiya talaga din ako nung pumunta ako dito. Pero, nung makilala ko na siya, we get along, we eat some food, nung ko nakilala na, hindi pala, kagaya ng iniisip ko, na, na may intimidate ako or what. Very simple guy. Kaya, ayun, medyo, medyo shy pa nga siya eh, kung tutusin eh. No? Sa ina-expect ko, ba diba? So, how does it feel to be the son of the very famous Manny Pacquiao? It's before before overwhelming because you know a lot of people talk, but then nasanay na nasanay na ako with all the people looking at me because every time I go out, kahit na face recognize. they recognize pa rin ako like kahit na face mask and then tumitingin pa rin sila like oh, parang si anin <laughs> <laughs> but eventually you get used to it. I get I got used to it na nasanay na rin and I don't really mind na my parents are like ano super well known because. I feel right now it's fine now. Does it give you any pressure to carry the surname Pacquiao? Oh yeah, that's the yung mga tanong actually uh -huh. ng other people also na is it pressure ba na you have to follow your dad's footsteps no? mm -hmm. or you, you have a name dapat you have to act this certain way uh -huh. But for me, I believe na just be who you are, you know, and don't be pressured. Kasi I can't be like my dad. And Just because my dad is a famous boxer doesn't mean I have to do boxing also and continue his legacy. You know? But yeah, they were my parents are are open naman to making me uh, having me do what I want and do like the uh, continue my passion and do my passion also and they support me also and there is no. Uh, pressure because I know my family mm. supports me. Supports you. Mm. Kahit ano yung gusto mong career path. Yeah. Diba? But uh, recently you tried, right? You have a boxing yeah, I competition. Did, uh, Can you share us the experience? Yeah. Uh, I was just training. So, like, sa bahay lang. Training lang ako. And then, may nag-request, may nag -ano suggest pala for me na to, to do boxing. amateur boxing. Ah, okay. And then, I was, nag-isip ako, like, At least, I know, try ko. And, uh, and the experience was super humbling for me, actually. Because it made me actually more humble I was before I did the fight. Because I, I realized how hard and how, you know, how much, how much time na consume mo through training pa. Mm. And 
sacrifice yung uh, discipline no? discipline yeah discipline talaga yun and you have to push yourself then and it was nerve wracking kasi first time mo sa stage yung daming tao naman eh so first fight ko yun so first fight yeah Pero, ah really first fight mo pala yun yeah okay. first fight first amateur fight ko yun congratulations man nanalo nanalo ka diba nakita ko kasi dun sa mga postings actually hindi ko na panood yung fight pero nakita ko sa mga post ng mga mutual friends na nanood sila so ang tuwa sila sila balita so congratulations thank you Kasi ano eh, syempre yung mga tao, since apelido mo, pakiyo, hinahanap nila yung boxer inside of you, no? Yeah. And napatunayan mo naman that you have the genes to do it. <laughs> and to know you personally, hindi mo naman talaga siya craft or stuff na, pero you tried and mm -hmm. yun yung maganda. Kasi you tried it and you do you do it right. Parang if you put your, your hard work hard. to something, pwede mo pa rin pala talaga siya ma maipanalo. Yeah, yeah. Diba? There's this uh there's this mindset that I like to go. Sorry, and the eh, like talkers. Uh, sorry, sorry, shy pa rin ako, sorry for mm. that. But for me, your mindset ko is you can do anything you put your mind and into. work into. Yeah, so which is napatunayan naman yan, nakakatuwa. Yeah. Dito sa saglit na na nagkaroon kami ng bonding. Nakita ko na hindi niya talaga ano yun eh, hindi niya yun yung forte niya eh. Pero naging disiplinado siya para ipanalo yun. Kaya, I'm proud of you, bro. Thank you so much. Um, actually, dito, I know the answer, but I need to ask it. Okay. Because, yun nga, agaya na napag-usapan natin sa podcast mo, mm -hmm. one of the uh, main struggle of a Filipino citizen is financial problems, poverty. So, I just want you to to share. Kasi, madami kasi yung nagsasabi, no? Kung anak lang ako ni Pacquiao, siguro, masaya na ako. Mm. But, we want it to hear from you na... Do you still have any problems that you encounter? Kasi di ba yung mga Pinoy, I mean, na natin sa hindi, ganyan sila mag-bira. Yeah, ganyan talaga mag <laughs> Sabihin nila, kung ako, anak ako ni Pacquiao, siguro wala na akong problema. <laughs> yeah. But coming from the the son himself, mm -hmm. it's funny do, you I, still, do you still have? Yeah, um, I still have a lot of problems. It's funny because when people say that, it's like, they don't know talaga na... Because just because the mayaman kami, it doesn't mean na wala na problems. Because mm -hmm. money doesn't solve all problems. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I still have many problems personally, and I'm glad that you know I I have people beside me to go to help me go through it. And from my childhood, uh, I wasn't spoiled, you know, which is uh, thankful ako dun. Because they, my mom, my parents uh, taught me and raised me very well. They taught me to always be humble, always help people if there was a chance that in the future that I could help. I would, and and yeah, my dad always told me his stories, ganon, and then and for me personally, I have struggles also with depression, and like you said, like you have. Na shock din ako nung sabi mo nung nung podcast na nung podcast that you were struggling with depression also. Also me, I was filled also, and I didn't know how I would escape. But my parents didn't know that, because. Mm -hmm. I just kept it inside for, for myself and it was a really dark time in my life. Uh, that time, I almost... Hindi naman end, like, harm myself. Harm yourself. Harm myself. And that's really a bad thing to do, I yeah. know. But, you know, ano kasi, it's, I was dwelling in it. I was, I was thinking about it too much. And akala ko, super big problem na depression. And then, I didn't know where I was going with my life. I was, every day, I would just smile, but in deep inside, it's like empty, you know. But they see people always see like in mm. uh, sa, sa social media, mm. it's like always happy, ganon. Chaka, because that's yung outside. That's what we want to know. But then from a deeper level, I have like encountered many problems then throughout my my life and through music. And music was one of the ways mm. I escaped from that. Mm. Music was one of the, the the reason why I did music was because. It, will, it helped me a lot going through depression phase in my life. Ibig sabihin pala, kahit anak ka na ng bilyonaryo at sobrang yaman yun na, hindi yun nangangahulugan na ligtas ka na sa mga problems. Especially yung sinabi mo, it's serious ha? Serious. Kasi depression, kagaya na sinare ko sa podcast natin, it's not a joke. Minsan, kahit sino, walang makasagot kung yeah. ano yung answers na hinahanap mo. Miski ikaw, hindi mo kaya sagutin. Yeah. Yun yung, I want to break the stigma to the people that are watching na hindi porket you have the highest point in life or you have all the money in the world. Yun yung pinakasolusyon sa buhay. Para 
parang there's a deeper meaning in life more than money. More than money, yeah. Because it's not for me. It's not fulfilling. Based on my experience, na that I there was a time where Ooh. I was I would ask my mom or like I would just buy stuff. What you want? What I want, and I thought it would make me uh, make me happy, make make me satisfied, make me make me fulfilled. Na na I wouldn't worry about anything else. But that's not the case. It's it's not permanent. It's not permanent. It's only that time moment, and then after that, it's gone. Eventually, it's gone. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's what people get wrong is money uh, is mon- everything. Yeah, money is everything. If I had just if I have, if I was super rich, I'd be happy. But true. It's not true. So, what do you think is the deeper meaning in life for you right now? Mm-hmm. Do you have like any uh, purpose that you found yeah. through I, this journey? Mm-hmm. Uh, I got to know. Most importantly, I for throughout this journey, I I understood what my purpose was was to help and encourage and influence other people mm. to be better. That's what I've always wanted to do. Even the my music mm. and all the things I do. Yun yung, I that was my my goal actually. To because I I started music. That's why I started the music, the boxing, the podcast, the whatever. It's because to to encourage and to influence people somehow, you know? And because I wanted to be like my dad, mm. but not in the boxing, but yeah. something else. Something else. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's always been my purpose. And the, the, the Lord is always the center of what I do. Wow. And that's, that's why I keep going. That's why uh, I have a direction in life because the Lord is the center and then all of the, the work and the deeds that will follow. Will follow, yeah. Na ang ganda ng sinabi niya no kasi yung way niya pala to communicate and to inspire others is through music and recently nga nagbukas na rin siya ng kanyang podcast mm-hmm. channel and nakakatuwa kasi he is using his name on the right way kagaya ng sinabi niya hindi ka man maging kagaya ni ni Sir Manny to be a boxing champion mm-hmm. pero in other ways you can influence people in a good way mm-hmm. nakakatuwa so that will break the stigma na akala natin eh nene eh. pag nasa iyo nang lahat kaya mong bilhin lahat wala ka nang problema hindi hindi pala doon hindi lang yun yung kabuluhan ng buhay may merong deeper meaning of life maybe kapag nandoon ka na sa taas ikaw naman yung tumulong doon sa mga nangangailangan sa iyo like yung ginagawa mo ngayon through music through the podcast and other stuff that behind the cameras diba yeah. meron din tayong mga ganyan hindi naman na kailangan ipakita sa tao it yeah. will self fulfill us yeah. also knowing uh, eto uh, actually may follow up question yun knowing knowing that you can travel the world diba kasi maraming ganyan eh ito ah typical Filipino mindset nowadays if i have a lot of money magte-travel ako puntahan ko lahat ng gusto ko knowing that you can travel the world and buy all the things that you can ever imagine but according to your friends and as i witnessed you're still very simple why do you still choose to be a very simple guy i it's uh, to be honest it's It's just, I guess, who I am. Simple. I like simple. I don't like those people that like super pride. No, parang they wear, they wear like super fancy just to go signature out. Signature clothes. Yeah, signature. Mga Gucci, Louis Vuitton. I'm like, you're just going to the mall. You And just... I heard you have a favorite necklace, right? <laughs> oh. The one that you bought cheap. Yeah, cheap lang ang mga ano lang yun. Futa. I forgot how how much, but it was like super cheap lang. Because I just wanted it. It looked nice, so I just bought it. <laughs> it's nice. It's cheap also and to be sabihin sobrang simple lang pala maging masaya it's a yeah. matter of choice yeah, no. choice. kasi yung iba they are waiting for the best time of their life that they have the freedom the money pero kung totoo sige kaya pala nila maging masaya ngayon mismo kung mm. pipiliin lang nila kung gugustuhin nila in my experience the most satisfying and the most enjoyable things that i've done were the simple things. simple things the simple uh, like hanging out with friends hanging out with friends yeah yung mga ganun lang ba yung mga simple lang like just i like food just outside yung babakala to mas uh, may ano yung mga available available foods and yeah mga ganun enjoy because it. it's it doesn't it's not like pressure sa akin just because maraming pera doesn't mean i have to buy a lot i like i like being simple because for me genuinely yun yung that's who i am i just like being wow nakakatuwa ang nakuha ko doon daily sense happiness is not expensive as we mm. think it is no akala kasi natin sobrang saya pero mga simpleng bagay pala na ginagawa na natin ngayon na inaakala natin na pag na-achieve natin yung mas angat na level of lifestyle yun yung 
magpapasaya sa atin but simple things sobrang masaya na chilling ka lang dito sa bahay with your friends Netflix lang kayo nood kayo ng, ng movie or mga ganong scenario sobrang papasaya na which nakakatuwa kasi nagagawa ko siya ngayon with my friends may regular kami nakikita kami every weekend nakakapag we are playing video games I have a shop kasi dun sa shop ko since I have editors I have five computers so we are playing Counter Strike together so that's the best time of my life hanging out with my boys kung titusin mo sobrang simple lang nun wala kami halos ginastos given the fact na lang na meron akong equipments dahil ginagamit din sa trabaho pero yun yung best time of my life sobrang saya hindi matutumbasan ng pera yun that's really true can you share with us the uh, most unforgettable uh, struggle or problem that you had in life like any specific that you have in mind there was uh, we're in Jensa. there was this one time that I can't forget I mean there's many scenarios but most of the mo, uh, that, that time on my life I was I don't know if I want to say but I'll say it na lang. I was really down depressed I don't know who to go to I got like this rope thing I got a rope sa si Arco I almost tried hanging myself and I tried I almost I almost I think I did I don't remember now but that's like, that's really deep bro it's can you still remember uh, yung mo sa isip mo? yeah I I felt I felt alone I felt I asked like what what my purpose was it's like why am You're I questioning doing, yourself I'm questioning myself like should I keep just keep going you know most I still remember it to this day. It was it was dark. I was I went out the house. I was I went to our because we have a like a gym area, oh, yeah. and there was this like old punching bag. Yeah, <laughs> old punching bag. Na sirat na like there was like full of tape and everything. Ah. And then I was so frustrated that I kept I was punching for like I don't know for like an hour. I was punching until dumugo yung yung knuckles ko. It was bleeding, and but I didn't feel the pain because I felt like I was numb na to the to every pain yeah. eh, that I felt. And yeah, that was the most memorable. That's what I can remember. Just me punching the yeah. bag while it was my hand. Because the physical na pain lumilipas or misan mas masakit talaga yung yung pain na sa loob mo kaysa sa physical eh gumagaling kasi yung tayo eh we heal yeah. pero mas mahirap mag heal if yung pain and your struggle mo nasa loob nasa loob inside. pero ngayon uh, how do you feel do you recover from that or yeah, I, right now I really happy that uh, you escape I escape how did how did you escape I escape through through listening in music you know that was ways I escaped and just continued the basketball that was the one those were the two things that I that I did I started working out you know just working out and like you said the podcast I'm making uh, keeping myself occupied you know after I would after school I would go to gym and wow. after gym I would uh, listen to music and just wow. yeah so Right now, I do music still, and I have many friends that I can talk to that are, are there for me. All yeah, time. ang galing, ang galing. Na, Nakaka-inspire. Kasi you have the, uh, meron ka din palang story like that. Kasi mm-hmm. kanina ako yung nag-share sa podcast niya. Mm-hmm. So may ganun din ako struggle. But we are on a different story. But kung isipin mo, parang halos same lang eh, yung kalaban mo dito eh. Kasi before me, I came from a poor family. Pero hindi rin nag-guarantee yun. Kasi iniisip nila, mas less prone sa depression yung mga coming from a poor family. Kasi we always socialize with others. Maraming laging kausap. Magkakatabi yung bahay namin. Maingay yung kapitbahay mo. So you have no time to be alone really. To have a quiet time. Pero it's still the same eh. Meron, meron pa rin kayong kalaban. So kailangan i-break natin yung stigma na magkaiba yung problema ng mayaman. Magka- magkaiba yung problema na mahirap. Ako totoo siya, parehas pala tayo ng, ng kalaban. And there's a chance makawala yeah. diba makawala dito and if you will give our audience our netizens a uh, piece of advice if somehow ganun yung nararamdaman nila ngayon ano yung masasabi mo or any message for them para magkaroon sila ng konting hope to the people are going through something right now are about to i just want to say na you guys are not alone there are many like 
like us. I know that you guys can go through it. I believe that you'll, you'll overcome. And the best thing is it'll make you be a better person. And it'll make you stronger and just have faith in believe in yourself wow yeah. i have uh, watched your podcast with will buena and you mentioned that you also have some experience back then with bullying can you like mm -hmm. even just a brief because this is such an uh, updated or let's say very mm -hmm. fresh problems especially in schools they mm -hmm. experience bullying so i think it's worth mentioning that we can inspire them as well yeah. can you share your experience about it i was bullied because you know I'm not my appearance I'm not like guapo <laughs> but yeah I wasn't I wasn't really people were intimidated oh I see no one really wanted to talk to me and because of my name was so oh, they were afraid okay. but yeah they uh, most of the time in, in school I would hear I would just hear like they make fun of they, you yeah they make fun of me Chaka they were they would make fun of my my face or like my my, my name. Chaka, they would talk back. I do talk. Uh, they backstab me. You mm. know, like talk behind your back. You know, kind. I would say friends. I thought they were friends, but then they weren't. They were just pretending to be friends because that's why you name ko. Diba? They just wanna. They just want that idea na oh, you know, so, like a friend only in pake or like. People were just nice to me because they wanted to get something from me, you know, libre, libre ko sila, you know, like that. But in, in reality, they don't really genuinely um, ano, like me for who I am. How did you cope with bullying? I, uh, I was uh, thankful that I had uh, two actual friends there. Na they were genuinely there for me. Blessed I was at least I had two. And, I could uh, talk to them about not not no man like super deep, but like I just talked to them. They would ask me like, "Are you okay?" They find and I'm like, "Not really." I could say not really and like talk to them. I was just happy that they were there to cope with that. Bullying. Important because it's talaga may may ka usap eh. Mm. So brang ano kahit sabi mo hindi masyado malalim yung usapan mo. Pero once na nai voice out mo siya sa ibang tao, mm. kasi mga ganon yung pagaramdam natin. So it's really important. And nakatuwa kasi shiner mo siya because yung kasi yung nagiging ano kasi insensitive kasi kadalasan ng tao na they're making fun of people. Kasi akala nila wala lang yun eh. Especially you kasi very famous yung apelido niyo and your dad kilala ng buong Pilipinas. So parang sobrang easy na lang sa tao mag disrespect kasi parang siguro iniisip nila virtual lang siya na hindi siya totoo na pag nakita ko sa personal especially now ah, on social media days sobrang easy mag disrespect ng tao sobrang easy gumawa ng dami account to troll comments mm -hmm. na hindi nila alam na yung mga taong sinasabihan nila nun eh, may feelings din yeah. diba? na may nararamdaman din ganun so it's a lesson para sa ating lahat to be more sensitive kasi maaaring sa inyo parang katuwaan lang mm -hmm. pero hindi mo alam sa ibang tao ano eh meron siyang ano eh iniiwan na mark eh na kahit na graduate na kayo or hindi mo na sila nakakasama paminsan-minsan bibisita pa rin yung sa isip mo yeah. you have to be really careful and sensitive sa mga sa damdamin ng ibang tao even though you see them as a very strong mm -hmm and famous personality kailangan maging mindful pa rin tayo sa mga choice of words natin at sa mga biro so yun thank you thank you for for sharing that so what can you say about someone who experienced the same or still experiencing the same situation as you did what advice can you give them sa mga bullying kasi alam madami ngayon nabubuli pa rin sa mga school even nga sa, sa work nag-work na sila naka-experience pa rin sila ng bullying ano yung piece of advice na may bibigay mo sa kanila my advice is to first is not listen. If you listen and uh, like deep within Musha, like if you dwell on it so much, you would start to believe them and then you would start to they would be dictating who you are and you would lose yourself. So first thing I would do is you know, you should you shouldn't listen to them. You should always have someone and also always have someone to talk to. It could be relatives, which is better because they understand you more. And second would be friends. But but yeah, so cancel out the noise. Just believe that that you aren't what they say you are. Because only you who are they to judge you? they they don't know you. You you know yourself. They're just there as a noise. 
parang gumagawa lang sila na ingay, no? Yeah, just, don't, ingay. just don't listen. Isa dun sa may emphasize ko, huwag mo lang i-empower, di ba? Huwag mo mm-hmm. lang i-empower. Kasi once na nakinig ka sa nila, nagpa-apekto sa kanila, ni-empower mo yung ano nila eh, yung desire nila na saktan ka eh. Mm-hmm. At pag na-apektuhan ka nila, mas lalo pa silang nagkakaroon ng fire na mas galingan pa sa pag yeah. bubuli sa'yo, mm-hmm. all that stuff. So huwag mo lang silang i-empower and do your own thing. Yeah. Kasi once na iniisip mo ano kayo sasabihin na itong isang to, mm-hmm. eh wala naman siya sinasabi talaga maganda sa'yo. Then nabubuhay ka na, nagiging prisoner ka na niya, nabubuhay ka na para sa ibang tao. And mas magiging masaya ka kung mabubuhay ka para sa sarili mo at para mm-hmm. eh, kay God. Kasi yeah. kung sila pabubuhay ka para sa kanila, I think itong mga tao na to, sila yung may, may pinagdadaanan din, may problema. So ako ah, personal na ginagawa ko, instead na mainis ako sa kanila, I show empathy. Kasi siguro, kagaya, ako kasi na-experience ko siya ngayon at the present age through comments they're making fun of me and my height diba since nag-review ako ng motor they're making fun of my uh, physical attributes eh wala naman ako magagawa yun eh for me kasi kung ano yung binigay sa akin ni Lord that's enough mm-hmm. diba nakakapag-review nga ako ng motor ngayon diba nakakapag-review ako nasasakyan ko nag-drive ko and I'm thankful kasi kompleto yung mga daliri ko diba yung, yung mga simple bagay na ganun makes me feel complete na hindi ko na kailangan makinig sa kanila ngayon, imbis na mainis, iniisip ko na lang, siguro bad day lang siya. Tapos mm-hmm. pinagbuntungan niya lang yung comment section ng ano. Parang at least nakatulong pa ako sa kanya kung may pinagdadaanan siya. Kasi naging outlet ako eh. Mm-hmm. So for me, hindi ko na lang siya i-empower, hindi ko siya papahinggan. O kaya naman, hindi ko na lang siya papansinin para lahat tayo masaya, di ba? Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, ano lang naman yun eh, lilipas din eh. Parang ang tao kasi may masabi lang eh. And then eventually, nakalimutan na rin nila yun. Oo. Oh. Wala na rin sa kanila yun. Yeah. Because, meron din silang kanya-kanyang mga problema Problem. pag uwi nila. Yep. Di ba? Hindi naman kasi magical mm. na kapag ka pinatulan mo yung isang tao may sinasabing masama sa'yo, na magical na pumatol ka, magbabago bigla isip niya. <laughs> Oh. Nakampi ka na agad niya na sinasamba ka na niya or kung ano man, idol ka na niya. Hindi yun naman ganun. Hindi. Kasi kung may nasabi siyang mali sa'yo in the first place, ibig sabihin, may hate na siya sa'yo yung nararamdaman. Mm-hmm. So if you try to convince them, masasayang lang energy mo. Oh yeah, tama. Okay. Yung energy mo, pwede mo pang spend sa mas makabuluhang bagay like bonding ka with your family yeah. or maybe meron kang win work na music, dun mo na lang spend, di ba? Yung energy mo. Oh. Time well spent pa na yeah, yeah. situation. Yun yung mga sabi nila, like, di ba, just the saying, fight fire with fire, pero it will just make more, uh, bigger fire, di ba? So parang, maganda yung sabi mo na about empathy, you know, kasi yun talaga, people that do that, they have also personal problems themselves. So it's better to pray for them, you know, it's better than, rather than, prove to them na they or fight back. Mas mas mapaya pa mas pa. At saka kung kakayaan mo lang yung apoy, kusa naman yung uhu pa mag-isa. Pag wala na siyang susunugin. Once kasi nagbato ka pa doon, oh. lalaki pa yung apoy. Pa. Oh. That's good. That's really good. Nakakatuwa. Kasi dami nating na na-cover. Mga important messages na that can inspire them. I know na hindi talaga yun yung personality mo that you share yeah. your things. Especially on cam. And nakakatuwa kasi ibig sabihin, from our podcast a while ago, I gained trust sa sa'yo na you open up yourself. Kasi ako naging super open ako kanina sa podcast namin and I'm thankful as well. Hindi naman to para sa akin eh. Uh, the reason why I started this podcast, uh, para sa mga manonood talaga. Kasi may successful naman akong channel eh, yung main channel ko. It's really successful. It's doing well up till this date. But I choose to open a podcast. para ibang avenue naman. Ibang personalities that can share problema na pwede natin solusyonan, di ba? At nakakatuwa na na-break natin yung stigma na iniisip nila a Michael Pacquiao na wala nang pinaproblema na sa kanya ng lahat pero still a human being and still striving to have his own path. Pero ang nakakatuwa dun, totoo nga kasi na napalaki siya na maayos at kitang-kita naman natin yun. Dahil yung goal niya, hindi man siya pumasok sa boxing, makapag-ano pa rin, makapag-inspire pa rin ng tao. Yeah. Yun diba? talaga yung ko. It's a blessing na dinala ako ng I hope, no, maray pa tayong mga future na mga talks, podcast na pag-usapan. Because I really enjoyed my stay here. Kasi sobrang simple lang din naman ako. Mm-hmm. If I'm not very busy sa aking business, I spend time with my friends. Mm-hmm. And nakatuwa kasi, I special thanks ha, to Project Romeo and Will Buena for introducing me to you guys na nagkaroon kami ng bagong friends. friends. 
I can say friends eh kasi makikita mo naman yung intentions ng tao and sa umpisa pa lang especially ng may mga napag-usapan na mga personal, personal personal stuff na hindi mo basta-basta sinasabi sa kung sinong-sino gumagaan yung loob mo eh nagkakaroon ka ng trust dun sa tao kasi nag-open up parang naging vulnerable kasi para sa kanya kasi alam mo na hindi kanya i-judge yeah. or maybe makaka-relate siya and mag-empathize sa'yo nakakatawa ang sarap sa feeling mm. I'm honored, so thank you so much, bro, for sharing your personal experiences. I really appreciate it. Also, uh, thank you for having me here. If, ito ah, hindi na siguro to super heavy na question. Mm-hmm. If you are not born to be uh, Michael Pacquiao, okay. wala ang Pacquiao sa apelido mo, mm-hmm. what do you think will you become right now? I mean, oh. do you have a job, a regular job outside? Do you dream of something else? Hmm, hindi ko pa naisip yun. If hindi ako Pacquiao. Yeah, hindi ka Pacquiao. <laughs> oh, hindi, hindi mo dala yung surname na Pacquiao. Mm-hmm. Ano sa palagay mo yung ikaw? Um, Any, anything. Maybe, even if it's crazy thoughts or idea uh, or imagination. Probably some... Still be ano, somewhere in the like, creative in, like, industry. industry. Probably like isang videographer. <laughs> <laughs> or editor ng sabi niya. Yeah. Ah, kasi eh masama kong videographer. Michael. <laughs> Crazy na sa naisip niya. No? Mga videographer ako in my other life. <laughs> so, na, pero yeah. di ba, kita mo naman, sobra simple lang. Masaya kami. Kaibigan ko din kasi si Michael, so masaya kami palagi. And ayun, uh, it's really good to have good people around you. Yung mapagkakatiwalaan mo, you can share stuff that they don't uh, judge you. Mm-hmm. Nakakatuwa. So I truly admire you as an artist and now as a person. I enjoyed the conversation with you. And truly a very humble gentleman that we have here, Michael Pacquiao. Do you have any uh, like a favorite quote or verse that you can just the la- a last word from us a uh, verse or a uh, quote that you have in life? Uh, for me, my favorite quote or verse: Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be able to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Wow. In your verse, Joshua one eight. That's my Bible verse. Must, my, uh, nasa uh, ano ko yun eh, actually profile sa IG ko. And one of my quotes, like actually, like je, ano quotes din, is how big would you dream if you knew you couldn't fail? Oh. Nice. Parang it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Yeah. To keep you motivated. Motivated. Ganda. Tapos nostalgic nung una niyang engineer kasi parang naririnig ko rin yung kay Senator Manny. <laughs> Yung engineer mo, pagka tinatrash talk siya ng mga opponents niya before the fight, yun yung sinasabi niya eh. Tapos parang ginaglorify ni God yung mga words niya. Kasi yung mga tao, mas lalong tumataas yung tingin sa kanya. Eh nakakatuwa dahil nai-impart niya yun sa inyo. And the legacy will go on. Thank you, thank you for inviting me to your humble home. Natuwa ako, nag-enjoy ako sa usapan, nag-enjoy ako sa food. <laughs> Simple lang yung food namin, na, na, nakakatuwa, ang sarap. And I enjoyed us all, all the activities that we have done today. So, thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much. For my netizens out there, kung nagustuhan nyo to, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Sino pa yung ibang gusto nyo maging guest natin? Or if you want to have any specific request na topic na pwede nating i-discuss, next vlog, comment your thoughts below. Again, this is Nel Adriano. Kaya mo yan. Ikaw pa ba?